welcome this is a full moon for March I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration all right ladies and gentlemen let's get in it you air sign this is the full moon reading of March the super full moon and it is for the it is for um, the um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Librans, okay? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's get with the program. Um, so, what is happening, what is transpiring is that um, we are going to be looking at uh, the situation that is coming in for the hair sun people. These are the people that were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. These are the people that was born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I'm first looking at the sun people and then I'm going to be looking at the moon people, okay? So, um, hair sign, it is just um, a wonderful time, remember, to go pick up the extended reading. So, all right, let's see what we're coming in with. And I see the worries is going to be over for you here, sign. Okay. The worries is going to be over for you here, sign. Okay. Then I see the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Then I see the end of a situation is here. then I see um, your intuition is going to be very very high then I see um, there was a situation the offer there was supposed to be an offer I don't see the offer there's too much secrets I see a transition is coming up where the end of whatever the secrets was I see no good news is coming up for you guys so there was there would have been an offer but i don't see the offer coming in i see the energy of the king of uh, um cups i see um, um endings coming up for the king of cups i see um a new start is coming in and i see um no strong foundation okay no strong foundation so okay um the message is clear so um sun sign people what i'm seeing is that the worries is over but i um there is uh, no significance of um a working together whatever the work is and the work that should have been done this is over i see the eye princess and i see a lot of secrets that we're going to be looking at and I see a transition with the King of Cups. Now, whoever this King of Cups is and whatever is transpiring, I see um, the energy of uh, um, there is uh, as, as if love is offered, but you are not completely interested in whatever is going on. Okay. I see the end of a cycle that is coming in and an offer should have been made. But there is um, no offer. Um, I see love is being offered. Um, it's as if you guys are offering love, but it's as if the recipient is not um, accepting it. Okay. So, however, this is coming up and whatever is going on, we are going to be looking deeper in the situation because. The first week has something to do with work or it has something to do with a Virgo. But whatever is happening and transpiring, obviously, there is uh, um, the worries. You're coming in with the worries, uh, um, not anymore, okay? However, this is transpired, the worries isn't there anymore, okay? So let's see what this is uh, with the Nine of Swords. I see the King of One. Um, there is no worries. You're not worried about the king of wands anymore, whatever that was transpiring. And then I see the end of a cycle to the king of wands. 
so some of you had a situation with an Aries Leo Sagittarius but I see that this is over um, and uh, um, it had to do with a work situation I see that this is over and uh, I see the cycle is uh, moving forward okay your worries is going to be over then I see um, situation with work I see you're successful um, whatever is transpiring with work I see success is going to be coming up um, with your work however this is transpiring I see success is definitely going to be um, coming up with your work and that is a uh, really wonderful and really positive so I see the energy of the eye princess and I see you're standing your grounds because of uh, some lies and deceptiveness that has been transpired so here you go they're small so you're standing your grounds it's, uh, it's as if uh, there are secrets there are secrets that is going on and I see you guys really standing your grounds I see a new start is going to be coming in transition is here a new start is going to be coming in and this is really really wonderful um, because I see you stand your grounds against a situation and you're very successful coming out a deceptiveness I see the energy of the king of cups this could be a Pisces I see this person is a uh, um, turning their backs want to leave want to move on I see this energy is coming up so however this is playing in your life it could be you turning your back to this king of cups but I see this king of cups is in the reverse so this is a definitely a Pisces man whatever has transpired I see it could be a Scorpio for some of you but this could be that some of you are turning your back to um, an older Pisces Cancer or Scorpion or whatever this is coming up it's as if you don't feel the love anymore for this person I see the energy of the King the Queen of Pentacles this is a wonderful energy where I see that uh, she is uh, standing strong it could be a mother figure and I see the end of a situation that some of you were dealing with this lady because it's as if they have uh, um caught an Aries the or Sagittarius man that has done some injustice okay then I see this man have some regret whoever this man is um whatever the situation that was going on with this Aries the or Sagittarius this person have some regrets okay whoever this person is they um, definitely definitely have some regrets so however that is transpiring and coming up they have some regret about something that they have done the hate of Pentacles is coming up and I see that uh, um, there was an offer of work for some of you but this offer is um, is, is no longer standing because uh, someone blocked this offer that was coming in so there was an offer for of work that would be um, would be available to you but someone has blocked this offer um, um, but um, it's it, it, it is okay it is as if uh, um, you know there is something better I see a new offer is coming up a new offer of work so a lot of you some of you um, it was blocked and a lot of you I see a new offer of work is going to be coming in and this is going to be good so um, a wonderful um, sense of uh, um, a wonderful sense of situation is uh, um, is coming in because what this is saying is that uh, there was some secrets about an offer that should have come in um, to some of you so it could be a, a promotion um, it could be that someone wanted to work with you but I see it was a block I see the energy of the devil you were supposed to get some news but I see um, this news didn't came through so um, go and check and see what exactly is transpiring because some news was supposed to come through but I see some of you are going to be receiving some deceptive news so be aware of the information um, that you receive okay I see the energy of the ten of Pentacles so I see money is going to be coming in this is looking good this is positive 
this is a really really positive uh, this is a good sign i see the offer of a lot of money is going to be coming in now um the offer of money is going to be coming in from a scorpion so whatever had transpired between you and a scorpion was this your boss who was this person because i see a lot of money is going to be coming in but i also see as as if this person wants to apologize okay i see the energy of uh, um the six of pentacles i see a, a lot of people is going to be it's as if they're going to be coming in and helping you it could be friends um people that you're not aware of i see um they're going to be coming in and helping you so like unexpected help people friends is definitely going to be coming in and helping you out um and offering you love so these could be soul soul family um or, um people that you would have unexpectedly um unexpectedly expected um to be offering you love it's like out of the blues all of these people are just coming in and offering you like you know love to whatever is transpiring I see um, the Queen of Swords, whatever is transpiring with the, this Queen of Swords, I see that this lady, um, you ladies, um, 50 years and older, or it could be just you ladies, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see some worries, um, some worrisome situation is here because uh, the truth came out. Some worrisome situation is here. The truth came out and I see that some of you, um there could be some jail time for some of you ladies 50 years and older um because the truth came out whatever the issue and the situation is i see some of you um could have some jail time because the truth came out so ladies 50 years and older whatever you got caught up in it is um not looking that good so you got to be careful whatever is transpiring because I see the energy of jail time could be coming in for some of you ladies. Now, not to worry because I see um, people and family and friends is going to be coming in and help you um, to give you the money to resolve this situation. Okay. So some of you um, was having some issue um, with a Leo man. You stand your ground. I see... Um, you stand your ground and i see that you're going to be having a new offer coming in whatever has transpired i see you stand your ground and there is going to be a new offer that is coming in because what i'm seeing here ladies and gentlemen is that a whole lot of you are going to be having these new offers for work okay and there was some um deceptive situation here where um there was some news that was supposed to come in or there could be some news that is going to be coming in but the the news is not so um it's not so wonderful i see um the news is really not so wonderful okay so i see the king of wands the energy of the king of wands is here where i see um some of you were dealing with a situation with uh, um, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman and uh, um, the, the the Knight of Wands, and um, this situation is now ended. I see a lot of you are successfully ending the situation. There is some regrets with the King of One with a work situation. There was some deceptiveness at play. So I see um, you, um, Sunshine people. An offer is going to be coming up for a new start um whatever that has been transpiring an offer is definitely going to be coming up of uh for a new start and uh, there is going to be an offer that is coming in i see some of you are turning your backs to a pisces cancer or a scorpion man whoever this man is i see you could be divorcing this person um you could be leaving this person behind because um of some um you know information or some something that this person said didn't go didn't feel good and you're deciding yeah i no longer want to do this i i 
you know you're you're decided no I don't I no longer want to do this so some of you are having some regrets okay regrets of an offer that should have come in to you and this offer um, didn't come in um, regrets of some money that should have come in um, where it didn't okay um, this lady I see whoever you old ladies are I see help is definitely going to be coming in for you guys all right okay so let's go and check out and remember these are general reading these are um, definitely um, a general reading and um, what will happen is that in order to um, like find out what it is um, for you guys um, you can ask for a personalized uh, astral reading okay so here we go oh, 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 oh. here we go let's see um, what is a uh, transpiring for the moon sign air sign people for the moon sign air sign people so um, let's see what's coming up for the moon sign air sign people so I see your wishes and dreams in the reverse okay um, there is the worries that is over the lies and deceptiveness is out okay there is uh, some regrets I see your standing and trying um to find in a strength okay i see you're protecting yourself um from um just deceptive situation that is going on around you i see you um show up a lot of people and situation that was going on you fire sign okay i see you have all that it takes to um create your world of financial abundance and you are going to be um, doing that I see the ace of cups is coming up this is a wonderful um, positive energy this ace of cups uh, and I see some deceptiveness you're protecting yourself from the deceptiveness that had played okay I see some money is going to be coming in now the energy of the star is here where there has been issue and there has been situation that has been transpiring okay and what is happening um it is uh, that whatever is here and transpiring i see like wonderful things is going to be coming in um some of you your wishes and dream didn't come out but the lies and deceptiveness did come out and that is so beautiful because what is happening and transpiring is that uh, even though um the truth didn't come out uh, um, you can stand your ground against um, the deceptiveness you spoke up okay so um, you can't win it all but you uh, um, show up for um, your duties you can't win it all but you show up for your duties so what I'm seeing is that some of you something um, in the past could have uh, dismayed your life where there was some um, some really deceptive play that has transpired so something could have disarrayed your life where there was um like people wasn't speaking the truth and that sort of a thing and creating deceptiveness around you and that is um that is true but now it has opened up and people are seeing the truth i see you're not really worried I see that you are okay with what is going on and uh, you feel that the truth comes out and whatever that was transpiring the truth come out and this is better okay and this is really better because uh, what is transpiring is that you release yourself out of uh, deceptiveness and a negative um, situation I see you're trying to find strength and love is going to be coming in just unexpected as, as if whatever that is happening and transpiring with you I see love is going to be coming in and this is going to be beautiful because this love is pure love is a love of a lifetime okay this is a um, pure love this is that people and a situation um, whatever is happening and transpiring with people and situation around you the love is just so pure I see you're protecting yourself from some deceptiveness that has transpired and you're standing your grounds and um, it's as if you throw out everything 
um, all the secrets of other people, all the deceptiveness that was playing. You stand your ground and it's as if you throw it out and you're letting people see um, what was transpiring with some deceptiveness, with some money, okay? It has to do with money. So um, at the end of uh, this full moon period, because the full moon is from March 9, um, some of you are going to be coming in some money and I see you um, going to be protecting this money okay so let's see what's the regret was and the lies and the deceptiveness I see um, is as if uh, um, some of you some of some of you be careful because it's as if someone is watching someone is watching you someone is trying to figure out what you're doing and watching you so pay attention to people around you okay so it could be the energy of uh, um whatever is transpiring i see people are watching you and whoever is watching you you're not feeling really good because it's as if they are watching you because it's as if they have a secret and they are trying to figure it out if uh, um, you are seeing exactly what is happening. So um, be aware of that. Then we have uh, um, the deceptiveness with friends. A whole lot of deceptiveness with friends came out. So whoever is uh, watching you, um, there is like a lot of deceptiveness came out with friends. Okay. And... I see that you're like, you know, I, I'm happy that the truth came out. I, I see the truth about people. But whatever um, that has transpired, because a lot of you had a lot of worries, but there is going to be a resolution for this, okay? Um, a lot of you were carrying a, a lot of worries, but I see a resolution is uh, coming in, okay? Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles comes in and whatever is here and transpiring the energy of the knight of pentacles is here and this um young fella is um uh, is um there was some situation with some money okay because like some of you had broken in or some of you your house was broken in um i see someone is watching it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion who is watching some of you. So there is someone who is spying, okay? I see you have some regrets over some money, but you're letting it go. You have um, really some regrets over money, and it has to do with uh, um, some deceptive play that has transpired. There was really some deceptive play that has transpired. I see information is going to be coming in and the information that is going to be coming in, you're going to be using this information to move forward. So whatever the information that was coming in, I see you're going to be using this information to move forward. And um, this is going to be um, very positive. Some of you are trying to find in a strength, a situation has ended and you're trying to find in a strength to move on. Okay, so whatever that has transpired um, and whatever is ending, let it be. Um, you will find the strength to move on. I see people are seeing the truth about a situation. And, um, you know, some some of you, whatever that was transpiring, some of you, I see um, a Libran is coming in to offer you love. A Libran is definitely coming in to offer you love because I see... Um, people have seen the truth to whatever has transpired. And I see really a Libran is coming in to offer most of you love because it's as if a situation that people try to throw some of you under the bus is resolved. I see the energy of this lady, whoever this lady is. This lady is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. And I, um, it's coming up as a scorpion woman. And I see some of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with this um, person. I see that this person is going to be coming in, the scorpion, a scorpion, um, the four, is it four? Yeah, it's a scorpion. Um, a scorpion is going to try and come in and to help you to resolve a, 
a situation okay then I see um, some of you a new start is going to be coming in definitely and with this new start I see you're protecting yourself you're protecting yourself from issues money is also going to be coming in and um, some of you are going to be finding out uh, about some money that was uh, stolen okay because the truth is coming out and you're trying to find strength so I see you air sign people are really trying to find strength because uh, um, some deceptiveness with a, a Leo um, that some of you are going to be dealing with because it's twice the energy I see whatever you were having with a Leo this has been um, over but they're going to be finding you're trying to find strength with a deceptive play that has transpired so the resolution there's definitely a resolution um, that is here um, I see a resolution is coming up and if you have um, situation legal issues conflicts I see you're trying to find strength to deal with it whether you were the cause of it or whether it was caused by it I see a tower moment is coming down and a tower moment is coming down on uh, whatever the issue that has transpired I see this tower moment coming down so the tower moment is coming down and like a new start is going to be coming to your financials to build okay whatever is transpiring I see this tower moment coming down and a new start is going to be coming up uh, to your financial stability so it could have been someone who were blocking you um I see that this is going to be removed and resolved so be aware of this and I see um, the energy of uh, there is a situation with some money you should have gotten some money or some of you could have uh, there was a deceptiveness that's um, play in a bank or so I see um, a Pisces this looks like a Pisces I see like a Pisces is being watched or um, you are being watched okay so a Pisces could be watching you or you are being watched so um, most of you are going to be having a situation with a lady 50 years and older this could be your mom and this person is a scorpion but I see you're going to be resolving the situation um, however it is coming up I see news about money but I see some of you are trying to find strength um, news about money is coming in twice the ace of a uh, Pentacles is here but I see whatever is transpiring with some deceptiveness that was going on so let's say um, that your business that someone was skimming from your business I see that this is going to be coming out because the truth is going to come out because of this tower moment that is transpiring with the ace of pentacle now I see the energy of six and uh, um, twice the energy of ace of pentacles so I see abundance and money is going to be coming in and whatever that is uh, um, happening and transpiring I see um, whatever the deceptiveness because some of you could be dealing with some issue where you have some regrets and there was so many deceptiveness that was transpiring that was unbelievable and you know you wish that things could have been better but I see the situation is ending I see a new start to your financial stability is going to be coming in because they see what has transpired and I see um, a tower moment is coming down on a deceptive situation where you were trying um, to find inner strength okay you were trying to find inner strength to deal with this deceptive situation and you have a new start but you were holding on so tight and I see the lies and deceptiveness that is coming in okay so 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 moon sign people oh my oh my M M M A so it's going to be a lot let's look at your houses to see what is transpiring in your houses because water sign um hair sign people there is some there is some it's as if you're clearing up things it's as if you're moving things you're clearing out things you're seeing things for what it is whatever the deceptiveness there was i see your um, like you're clearing up for that and that is good because there was really some deceptiveness at play so 
one moment so okay so let's uh, um check in with the houses remember air sign your house is, is a um three um seven and eleven okay so your houses are three seven and eleven all right so it's it's really really it's it's really um really deceptive i should say really um deceptive things that is happening all right so here a sign remember your houses um um gemini your house is the third house um Libran, your house is the seventh house, and Aquarius, your house is the eleventh house, okay? All right, my darlings, let's check in and see what's coming up for you guys. All right, what's coming up for the hair sign? What is off the moon? What's coming up for the air sign? All right, in the first house, I see semi-sexual. You're allowing things, okay? You're you're working on your image your body image your parents yourself um the arrival of your expression the gateway the enter point i see um the semi-sex style of allowing encouraging like cha making changes towards yourself your characteristics and that sort of a thing and this is going to be absolutely beautiful because uh, you're changing your self image you're changing things about yourself and it is good sometimes when we work on ourselves okay as we work on ourselves and we honor ourselves and we make ourselves better then um we will make the world a better place also we begin by ourselves okay then i see you find the ascendant so some of you air sign is going to be realizing that in your material world in your financial world in your stability i see you're going to be finding your true north the ascendant so the worldview the mission the statement and expression okay so um the way you're making money now is the correct way this is what you were meant to do this is where you were meant to this is the work that you, you were meant to do so some of you are um have no more um uh, you know not searching for what it is you are meant to be it is all coming up and you're all seeing um what you were meant to be so i see you have the right job the right career however way you're making money that was what you were um you came to this planet to, to be okay then i see in the third house um gemini's this is going to be good this is your house you're just going with the flow this is a wonderful positive energy um, because you Gemini is just going with the flow, accepting things as they is. You're not fighting against the flow and this is going to be positive. This is a positive alignment because I see people in your environment because it's your house. You are really, you Gemini's are harmonized. You're aiding, you're enriched, you're benefiting. You're very energetic in this period and you're enjoying uh, the ecstasy and the gifts and of life, okay? In the house of the fourth house the house of the family i see healing so this is wonderful for you guys whatever is happening and transpire healing is coming up for you air sign it is a beautiful beautiful wonderful wonderful time where you're going to be healing family past life issues um family issues so these are going to be absolutely absolutely um positive so it is um it is so good um to be um you know working out and healing family issues it is the most beautiful thing to do all right so luck is going to be in friendships and this is going to be good so there was where i saw it in the sun sign that friends are going to be coming in and helping you out and this is going to be wonderful because they are going to be finding out uh, um that you know you need a little help and a little push to push you forward and they're going to be definitely doing this okay so i see the energy of the sixth house is here the energy of the sixth house is here i see a lot of on dreamy things okay the sixth house 
is the house of your everyday. It's as if you're, you know, you're dreaming. Whatever is transpiring is, 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 is as if you're not really sure what it is and you're dreaming. You're in this dream state and this is what is definitely coming up in these house. It's as if you're in this dream state, okay? And um, what we're seeing here is that this is absolutely um, good, but um, you must know and understand where you are at this time. I see um, semi-sex style is coming up. Semi-sex style in marriages and relationship opportunities in marriages and relationships. I see if this is a time you're looking for a new relationship. Um, marriage could be coming up for some of you where people wants to reconnect with you and um, have, you know, and offer um, a relationship. So I see um, semi-sex size. There's a lot of opportunities. So if you're looking for a twin flame, soul flame or a relationship, this is going to be the perfect moment. People who are married and in relationship is very positive, very positive. And whatever the issue is, I see that this is going to be resolved. Okay. It's as if it comes up, it just go away. There is a, no problem. As Bea, and this is the house, uh, the liberance, liberance, whatever is going on in your world, it's going to be good. I see for you liberance, a lot of opportunities is going to be coming in for you liberance. However, this is happening and transpiring. I see a whole lot of opportunities coming in for you liberance, especially when it comes in to relationships and new relationships. It's going to be fabulous. Okay. But the rest of you is the same, the same thing that is accosted, but but for um, the Librans, it's going to just be absolutely wonderful, absolutely beautiful. Now, again, the sun comes up in the eight house. And this is absolutely um, fantastic when the sun comes up in the eight house. Because that means whatever business investment, whatever relationship, if even you're cheating, if even you're having an affair, uh, it feels good. So enjoy. Not all the time we have the energy of the sun in the eight house because uh, sometimes uh, um, this will play against us. But right now you are successful over um, whatever issues and situation that you were having um, with um, relationships, uh, affairs, investment. It is going to be good. It's going to be wonderful. Um, positive alignment of energies okay and then we have uh, um, some conflicts uh, um, for you air sign people when it comes on um, to traveling so I see um, you air sign people are going to be having some conflicts when it comes on to travel whatever the issue and the situation is I see conflicts when um, conflicts with foreign situation but i'm seeing it's coming up for air sign people when you're going to be traveling in this period you could have some um challenges while traveling through this period i see challenges with information um, um overseas a situation and information also so be aware now in the house of uh, the tenth house of your reputation what i'm seeing here in the tenth house of reputation is that um, communication is the key. Okay. In order to, um, yield your reputation, communication is the key. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see you need to communicate. Communication is the key. So whatever the issue and the situation is, you got to communicate because that is what is happening for you. I see a tower moment for, um, you Aquarians. There is a huge tower moment that's coming in. Um, when Aries comes in, it has to do with a huge tower moment with a group of people, Aquarians. So be aware of this because it's fall in your house. So it's like losing job. It's like contracts being ended, um, ends of a, a group issue and situation. And for you guys, it's like a tower moment in your life where relationship, everything just ends, just ends. Okay. So I see that coming in for you Aquarians, especially with group um, organization and institution, okay? Now I see in the 12 hours, um, there is opposite, okay? So in the 12 hours, 
there's a lot of healing that need to be done by you air sign in this full moon um when um the 12 house comes up with healing and opposition what this is saying is that you need to reconsider healing past life issues and healing other situations in your life so this is good whatever the issue and the situation is is a very positive alignment for energy whatever it is the opposition and whatever is transpiring i see this 12 house is all about forgiveness and healing issues and situation um what um that is a transpiring issues and situation that is a transpiring in your world so it is um it is really a lot um, I can't say any um, it is a lot but it you have the Sun in relationships and business and you have luck in friendships and this is going to be really helping you guys and getting you guys through there's healing in the family so whatever the issues and situation is I see healing is coming up in the family so I see in the first house some of you could be getting rid of the scorpion whoever the scorpion is whatever is transpiring whatever the energy that the scorpion brings with them I see you're making some changes and really releasing a scorpion out of your life once and for all so however this situation is coming up in your life I see you really radically removing a scorpion and the behavior of the scorpion from your life okay then I see the energy of the Leos and I see whatever is transpiring I see you and your partner could if you're working together with your partner I see you're going to be creating a lot of money so if you are in alignments and in business or um, or is married to a Leo I see you and this person is going to be creating a lot of money okay then I see the energy of flow and uh, for you Gemini um, a relationship is going to um, um, if you have uh, issues conflicts it's going to be balanced out in this full moon so whatever legal issues balances issues that was going on it's definitely going to be balancing out in this full moon and I see the liberals are going to be helping you Gemini's to balance out whatever issues it can be legal issues conflicts it's going to be balanced out in this period then I see the energy of the Virgo so some of you are dealing with a Virgo in your family and I see an Elon is coming up between you and this Virgo in the family whatever has happened and transpired I see this Virgo is going to be trying to heal a situation and to balance out of a situation because this Virgo realized exactly what has transpired and I see this Virgo is really on your side they're not working against you they're actually working with you and this is going to be positive so wonderful alignment of energies that is coming up so some of you are going to be have luck with a cancer whoever this cancer is um, this cancer is coming in and if this cancer is a friend this cancer is going to be helping you out of a situation you're going to be having luck with a cancer and this is a wonderful situation because this is the house of friendship and I see a cancer is going to be helping you out so wonderful as we go to the six house the every day I see you Gemini's are going to be affected so whatever you you you, you did um, daily I see that task is going to be uh, there's going to be new changes in that task so is it your, that you're changing jobs or um, is it that uh, um, you're creating a new space in your life um, is it that a new relationship is it that in your daily life of the six house which it, it affects your work your job um, your whatever you do daily um, I see changes is coming up for you Gemini so it could be a move that could also be coming up now I see um, some of you are going to be having some luck with a Capricorn so if you're married or in a relationship with a Capricorn or in business with a Capricorn you're going to be having a lot of luck so whatever is happening and transpiring with a Capricorn and um, if you're married or doing business if this is a friend if this is someone who wants to go in business you're going to be having a lot of luck with this Capricorn then I see the energy of the Sun and whatever that has been transpiring I see some of you could be having um, some fun or some extra marriage affair uh, you could be having an affair 
with a Pisces. So I see some of you are happy with a Pisces and could be um, having an affair or if you're in business with a Pisces because I saw the Pisces, but it was like as if you were turning your back to the Pisces. But I see that some um, it could have been that you had an affair with a Pisces, whoever the Pisces and whatever. However, this um, Pisces comes up because I see um, success with the Pisces and this is in the eight house. OK, so the eight house is about investment, intensive contract, sex, uh, um, extirpate, capital, secrets, uh, mystery and obsession. OK. So however it is coming up, I see you're going to be successful. Um, the energy of the sun with a Capricorn, you're, the Pisces, you're going to be successful with this. Okay. So I see that there could be some sex and um, however it is coming up, I see um, the Pisces is coming up. Now, Sagittarian, some of you are having issues with a Sagittarian that so has to do with the square of um travel okay whatever the issue is uh, um i see the sound of alarm whatever so some of you whatever is transpiring i see a sagittarian and um, because this is the house of the sagittarian is creating some um conflicts um um square of conflicts with travel okay it could be that is it is you are creating it for the sagittarian or this it is will happen um because it's um it's in your reading and the conflicts is here and a, a sagittarian could have created some um trouble conf um conflicts or conflicts for you while traveling okay so whoever the sagittarian is and whatever is transpiring okay then um we see um taurus taurus the bull i see that um a Taurus is going to be trying to um, clear your reputation. Whatever is transpiring, I see a Taurus is going to be working together with a Capricorn to heal some of your reputation. So whatever that has happened and is transpiring, definitely I see a Taurus is going to be working together with you guys to clean and clear your reputation. And this is going to be good. So we have a Tower moment. You Aquarians, you got to be aware Aquarians, there's a tower moment. I see um, you Aquarians is radically removing an Aries, okay? Whoever this Aries is and whatever this Aries has done, I see you um, Aquarian is radically removing Aries once and for all out of your life. This is uh, um, the energy of a tower moment that is coming down for this Aries. Whatever is happening and transpiring, there is definitely a tower moment coming down for this Aries. So, um, a wonderful, um, Aquarians, you finally make the decision to remove, uh, um, this, um, Aries out of your life. Now the, um, 12 house has to do with uh, opposite balance. And whenever opposite balance is that some of you are going to be mirrored yourself up because it's a 12 house and the 12 house has to do with the subconscious, the mind, compassion, dreams, karma, forgiveness i see baggages i see try i see um development uh, um the akashic records so whatever is uh, transpiring and happening in the energy of the 12 hours i see that there has to be um some um situation that needs to be balanced out so um this is a wonderful alignment of energies that is going to be transpiring so however this is um, happening and how it, however this is playing out, I see that whatever that needs to be balanced, the healing and whatever spirituality and the healing that needs to be balanced, I see you Aquarians is going to be helping the rest with the opposition of uh, karma, healing, spirituality, you Aquarians, the Aquatic Records is going to be helping the rest. So um air sign this was absolutely fabulous fabulous fab 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 darlings okay so air sign i love your reading it, it's it's really then the last time um so um in order for you um to get extended of the reading please use the link here um please subscribe here and please do the notification button on i love you air sign people 
um please remember to like and share these videos like 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 and share share these videos i love you guys remember that your extended for each individual sign is under this video so please share 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 this video let me know um what way do you search for these full moon readings um and then i will try to um uh, facilitate you in order um, for you to just type in your and ask for your your full moon readings okay remember in order to receive this is um uh, yeah join the channel and um i think you have to use the medium extended in order to get your full moon i can't remember <laughs> i think i love you guys namaste